So after a uh, nice some fried eggs from the barbecue stove, it's time to start a new project. So you can directly see what will be the result. A flintlock double barrel shotgun. Uh, I already read the book and the descriptions are really nice for every topic. The problem is for the making of the barrel itself there are no descriptions because they are using a barrel from a kettle shotgun and convert it to a flintlock. So I have to improvise a little but that should be possible. So even for lock making there are really nice pictures for understanding. We will see what will be the result. So let's start. And at the end, I can give you a final review if the book is worth the money or not. But for the first few, it's really good. A lot of nice ideas, a lot of yeah, uh, descriptions to any part of the project. And what's really useful, a one-on-one -on -one drawing where you have all the measurements you need. So, let's start. So, I have some material. I will start with the barrel, uh, because the lock, I don't have the lock at, at the moment. And these pipes are for the barrel itself. It's 26 on uh, 5 millimeter wall thickness. This pipe, I will cut the ribs. And the thick full material is for the breech plugs. You will later see why I need such a thick piece for a breech plug. So. The first is to shape the barrels because at the end the barrels will will be much much thinner. At the moment the barrels are 805 millimeters long. That's rather good for a shotgun, I think. Uh, I've seen barrels who are much shorter, um, but that should be good. So. Let's start. So, at the moment, I'm turning the barrel so that I have a nice thin wall, but also suitable for round balls. Uh, that takes a lot of time, so I don't make uh, uh, I don't make a full video of that. That will take more a lot of hours. So so the rough shape of the barrel is done. Now we make a fine polishing and then we can cut off the end and make the next one.
That's the blank for the first barrel. So you can see I received the box from US. And now we will see what is inside. So that's the butt cap for the shotgun from Casted Brass and really nice and smooth quality. Whoa. And Two wedges, one of steel and one of brass. The longest I could get, so because we have two barrels, not only one. And Two similar locks, one left and one right. These are Dulce Egg locks from about 1800 that should fit to the pattern of the shotgun. So haha, now we have all material we need. And could start the build without waiting for any material. And like we saw, one barrel is already done. It goes from a diameter of diameter of twenty six oh three on the big side down to Twenty two oh eight and a wall thickness of about uh, two point nine nine four nine, yeah. Two point nine four a wall thickness. That should be okay for a shotgun as well as for uh, use with round balls. And now we make the second barrel the same shape, and then we can start making the breech plugs. That should be uh, will be a little bit more complicated. So. Like this, we have to go over for about seven, ten times because I cannot, can make only very uh, thin chips with this lathe and uh, don't make too much vibrations. And for sure, I need a lunette to fix the barrel and prevent it from wobbling because then it gets a disgusting noise. <laughs> 